I'm serious. Don't let no little mice run around. You out where my baby the one. The roach, y'all act like y'all ain't never anything. Run you out to a house. And you out where my baby the one. For I am. Why should you not see it? It is not because you're so bad. For I am what? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Hey, I'm with you. When you don't panic, you're able to move. I mean, every soldier, I'm serious now, even in the natural, he's taught not to panic. Because if you panic, you're dead. It's just that simple. Be not dismayed. Wait a minute. I mean, we're not supposed to be all <laughs> holy. No. You're a servant of God. Why? For I am thy God. Is it your God? Yes, Meaning you know what he can do. You may can't do anything. But one thing I know, here's one of them good I will do. So you'll understand what he said. Now, if you've been doing what I told you to do, I will strengthen thee. I said I will strengthen thee. Yes, See, nobody will ever be able to comprehend the strength that God can do through you. Here's another one of these good I will. Y'all ready? Come on now. He said that I will do the Lord. I will help thee. Lord, but you don't understand that stuff. That crack got me. No, it ain't. I made it. But the world the one that perverted it. If it had been used like I wanted it to be used, it would have been a good medical thing. But now man decided he even found a way to mess it up. But no matter what, I will help thee. Did he say any man? I don't, you know, a lot of times we got to go. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Sometimes you have to go get a little help. I will help you. I will help you. Now here's another one I will do. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my right. The minute you get that in this year, you don't walk around like what you do. I'm sorry, y'all. If you adhere to this old clay pot, you're going to say, you're going to do exactly what you want to do. But if you listen to God, whoo, Lord have mercy. You don't have to worry about nobody even messing with you. Look at that 13th verse. I love this. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not. I will tell thee. Have you ever heard that? I ain't trying to be funny. But I told you that time, I told my wife, I know I'm dying. Yeah, boy, why are you speaking next? I heard this place that you should live and not die and proclaim the word of the Lord. I think that's what I'm doing this morning. Yeah. And no matter what nobody say, he has the last say. Yeah. Can y'all mind jumping one more page over the bathroom? Go to 42. I want you to add it. Because you need to know what, what God will do if you do what he just said. Just be a child of life. You know, walk in wisdom. Do the thing that God would have you to do. And you don't really have a problem that he can't handle. 42 and 1. Listen, listen, listen. It says, Behold, my servant. Isn't that good? Whoa, Lord have mercy. My child of life, who I uphold. Wait a minute. What does the Lord tell you all? My elect. If you don't believe that's on you. In whom, what did he just kind of, my soul, did like? Wait a minute. That unlocks a whole bunch of doors. Any of y'all read Psalm 37? Anybody, hey, did you see that in that? He said, if you delight yourself in the Lord, what do you want? I will give you what? The desire of your heart. And he just told you my service. In whom my soul. I have put my 
Spirit upon him. Now, you got to understand at that time, that's appropriate. They only had the Spirit to come upon them and say, we're in a little better shape. We got the Spirit, what, in us now. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Yes, they're talking about Jesus. They're also talking about you because you his representative now here on earth. Help me, somebody. Amen. Ain't going to be too much long now. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians 4. 4. See, because sometimes we claim we don't know what the Lord's will is. Well, you're getting ready to get it straight from him. And when you do these things, God can sustain you. You cannot do it. If you're a woman now, I'm sorry, 36, 24, 36, right in front of you, smelling good, looking good, you're going to lose. It's that simple. And it doesn't matter what it is. Your flesh, if you do not have the, the flesh discipline, because Paul told you whom you lend your members to, that's whose God it is. Yield them to God, you take care of you. You lead them to that, that that's going to take you another place. Verse 3, for this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye obtain from fornication. I didn't know what you were going to pray about, but the Lord did. That every one of you should know, not be asking nobody, because you got a relationship with God, should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. We always give him the, that devil made me. No, the devil didn't make you do it. He can't make you do nothing you don't want to do. God is telling you, you know, should know how to possess his vessel. This is the vessel for the Holy Spirit. You don't disabuse it. When, when it's time to rest, and it looked at me talking, it took me a long time to learn that. I'm not saying it's because I'm a, I'm a driven person, always have been. But God has got me to the point. My wife says, he says, sit down. I lay in that bed all day. That's like what he said do. I'm sorry. If I don't, I'm disobedient. I'm sorry. I'm just being, hey, I have to know how to possess my vessel. Some folks don't understand. You can't come up with a plan for me because this ain't your vessel. Or, you, or did, I don't think they heard that. You know, some folks think, well, you can just do this to this. You ought to be running the zip and seven, eight miles a day. Hey, that might be right for you. But that's, I have to possess my vessel. I have to know what I have to do, not by the direction of someone, but by what God is telling me. When I need to rest, when I need to exercise, whatever I need to do. He said, if I like wisdom, who am I supposed to ask? I better stop before I get in trouble with this morning. Not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God. That's why you can't be, what does that really mean? Leave that point all along. Lust. When you look at it. And I've had a talk with a lot. I said, let me ask y'all a simple question. What can that piece of paper do for you? Can you touch it? Your mind. See, if you understand that and let God get into this, he'll show you how to control that mind. Well, you ain't got to get into all that stuff. He said, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles, which don't, they don't know me. They're doing what they're supposed to do, but you're a child of life or no better. I didn't write this now. Why? That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any manner because that the Lord is, not Mike, the avenger. You don't need to worry about nothing. Don't let him see you sweat because the Lord says vengeance is mine. Of all such as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God has not called us. No, he do not call you. Nothing. No, no, he didn't call us. Unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. That ain't an ugly word. That just means you've been set aside to do His will. You've been set aside to serve your generation. You've been set aside as a child of light. But for some reason, apparently, we don't like that. We 
think the world can get it on for another thing. 